Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how you can set up IMAP in SMTP for Outlook. So you need to go to linkedcam.com and then in the account section you click on add new, select SMTP and IMAP. Here you have two tabs, one is for IMAP and the other one is for SMTP. IMAP is used uh, in IMAP you can like send the emails and allow the system to detect the email or, or the replies as well where in case of smtp you can only send emails replies cannot be detected so it is highly recommended to configure imap here we have multiple fields like send a name email the password um, outgoing server outgoing server port incoming server and incoming server port uh, we can find the details over here. So if you go to help.linkedcamp.com, here is our knowledge base. Once you're here, you need to scroll down, go to email automation, select IMAP and SMTP settings for outlook.com. And for the Gmail, uh, you can click on these settings. Let's dive in. Here you can see all the details and the instructions you need to follow. Um, here we have the IMAP setting and the SMTP. Uh, what needs to be entered in the field so it is mentioned over here before that we need to configure a few things on our outlook account so let's go inside our outlook once you're inside the outlook account you need to click on this uh, gear icon once you click on that write down imap over here uh, once you once pop and imap option appears click on this one just make sure that this option is selected as yes and the other option is selected don't allow devices and apps to delete messages from outlook just select these two options and you're good now moving to the next step click on this icon select my microsoft account once you're inside here you need to select a security tab click on security dashboard then you need to select advanced security options First of all, you need to make sure that your two-step verification is turned on. If you, if it's not, just turn it on before you do the next step. After that, scroll down. Here you see the app password section. This, this section only appears if you have two-factor authentication turned on. If it's not turned on, this section will not appear. So you need to make sure that it's turned on first. Then you need to click on create a new app password. Once you click on this one, it will give you a password. Copy the password from here. Go back to linked camp now. Now here we need to type down the, the name. Uh, this, it should be the same name you have on your email address in Outlook. Uh, then type down your email address over here. Whatever Outlook email address uh, you have, type, type it down over here. And we will paste the password over here, which was copied from uh, from Microsoft then for these settings you need to uh, refer to the knowledge base here we have the settings so you we will copy the settings from here the port is 587 then for the incoming we go back we copy the settings from here paste it over here and the port is 993 once you're done with that click on save IMAP It will take a bit of time now account has been added successfully and on your registered linked camp email account you will receive a test email as well so whatever your registered email or is for linked camp you will receive a test email from uh, the email address you have just added now you can use this email address on the app to run the email campaigns thank you